Um, I got goosebumps when I watched Neil Armstrong land on the moon. And it wasn't because he put his foot on the moon. It was because everyone around me wanted him to put his foot on the moon. Just like everyone in the room right now is focused on Ian and blockchain, and all of us want blockchain to be successful for different reasons. What gives me goosebumps is collaboration and feeling collaboration around me. And that's what I have spent most of my life thinking about. Next question. What was the name of the movement? And I was there um, in Times Square in 2011 that said, we are the 99%. Oh, OK. Uh, so we got two people. Occupy. It was called the Occupy Excellent. It was called the Occupy Movement. And what was really cool about the Occupy... Can you see that man? He's got to split it with the guy next to him. Can you make sure he does that, please? <laughs> You've got change for 20, don't you? So what gave me goosebumps about the Occupy movement and then social media that came after was that we gave the 99% a voice. When someone gets dragged off an airliner and, and is, has their teeth broken by the airline staff, right? you all remember reading that story? That was a terrible story. Yeah. Everyone finds out about it and pushes back against the institution. And so we've just been through 10 years, almost 10 years, of social media and social networks that have given us the power to speak out against those institutions. So what excites me about where we are now with blockchain is that the next 10 years is about us having the tools to actually be the institution. Now, that sounds crazy, Jody. What I mean by that is that I'm running a startup. And I hope some of you are going to actually take the crypto cred coin and create a beautiful coin of your kids. And maybe your kids will say, Mommy, um, I want to trade my currency, my coin, for a late bedtime tonight. OK, the kids can create their own currency. Um, I'm going to do this, and you're going to put your pictures and your conversations and your connections all on my currency. It's called crypto cred, C R Y P T O dot K R E D. But you're going to say, oh, but what will happen if Jody's company goes out of business? Who can answer that question? What would happen if a blockchain company went out of business to all of your data? And this comes back to the question that the other gentleman who has actually unfortunately left the room um, asked, which is, you know, how can this affect me? What will happen when a blockchain company goes out of goes business? Out of business. <laughs> what happens to your data? Anyone? Come on, guys. Nothing. nothing. Why does nothing happen? It's distributed. It's everywhere and nowhere. It's on 50,000 servers. And so what black blockchain is going to do for me as a startup, and every one of you who wants to create a startup, it's going to give you persistence. It's going to give you the sort of authority that institutions have. The reason I put my money in Citibank is because they have authority, they have persistence, I believe they will be around for a long time. The reason I will give my data to a blockchain company is because whether they stay in business or not, I know that the things that I've shared with them are actually going to be safe. And that's, that's really awesome. And so. That, that actually comes back to the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, which is um, my life's work, and, and that's about collaboration. And that's about, as humans, I think we are 50% selfish and 50% generous. We've all seen that in our kids, in our friends, in our parents. And I think we need tools to make us or to, to help us grow in that generous side. But what's really interesting is that very often it's the selfish part of us. It's the currency that sometimes makes us more generous. And I think that we've seen currencies create communities. We've seen communities now have the ability to create their own currencies. And what I want to see this year, I would like to see blockchain and cryptocurrencies move from speculation 
to real applications that people can use. And so what we're, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Real applications that people can use. And that's not speculation. All you speculators, probably all the dudes at the back who are talking, you're all speculators, right? This is boring for you because, I don't know, what happened to Ethereum today or BTC? Went up. I didn't want you to tell me you're a nice man. I wanted one of the dudes at the back to tell me. Off to Las Vegas speculators because this year we really want to see real applications. And I was just in New York. He was famous for predicting the GFC. Nuri Rabini is sort of Mr. Doom and Gloom and I just heard him debate um, in New York and um, he sort of killed all of the Bitcoin people with their stars in their eyes. Um, and he, you know, he said basically that, he said the same thing that 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 congressman from California said uh, in Congress recently, which was crypto is crap. Yes, your congressman said crypto is crap this year, um, which was amazing. We should all get in the bus and go and visit him. He's from Orange County. Um, anyway, so Rabini also said, I don't want a wallet or a pocket full of different currencies because they're useless to me. I just want US dollars. In fact, that's what the congressman said as well. I just want US dollars. And you're all excited because I'm giving away US dollars, right? But here's the thing. Rubini said, I wouldn't know which currency to spend if I had a pocket full of hundreds of different currencies. It would be impossible. And I'd have an exchange problem, wouldn't I? But this dude, Rubini, Mr. Rubini, wherever you are, I hope you're listening, you forgot that we all have smartphones. Mr. Rubini, you forgot we have a smartphone. My smartphone knows that I'm in McDonald's. My smartphone knows that I have 100 McDonald's, as an example, currency in my wallet, right? My smartphone knows that I have a currency in my wallet that if I give mummy and daddy, they will let me stay up tonight. So I have a smart wallet and my smart wallet will go, ooh, I'm in McDonald's, and if I spend one US dollar, I'll get a hamburger, but if I spend 50 cents worth of McDonald's currency, I'll actually get a better deal. So we can have as many currencies as we want. And currencies have different privileges and limitations. Currencies can be based on what Jody thinks, what Ian thinks, what any of us want to have in our lives. Um, I can talk for ages and ages. I'm pretty sure I've gone over time. You are really great. And you know what? He didn't tell me that he was going to not ask me questions. Um, so you are awesome. Thank you very much. Tonight, we are talking about the future, the future of blockchain. We've all seen the rise of collectibles like this guy. And now you can make your own crypto coins and share your kitties with friends. to celebrate and to create community. Just choose a color, name it, add a photo to the front and to the back, and then share by email or even SMS. CryptoCred creates personalized crypto coins for sharing and connecting.